How's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly 3. We're starting a new episode, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl here. The episode that I've been looking forward to for a little while now. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. Wonder if Captain the Jack Sparrow's chilling. Some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. That's cruel. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper vault. That Bentley, always thinking. Dimitri's a frog? I always thought he was some, like, lizard. Is a frog a lizard? Dead men tell no tales. Very sick. But yeah, I have very fond memories of this map, so I was looking forward to this quite a bit. Especially like the, I guess, spoiler, the ship battles. I don't remember them very well, but I but I, I do remember them enough to look forward to it. Okay, okay, we got a lot more moves that we got to buy now. Let's see, but none of these are really calling my name. So, we'll, we'll just save up money slowly for them. I think we got to go out with Sly first, no matter what we do here. Bloodbath Bay, the Caribbean Sea. Okay. See, when I stepped out, I felt like I didn't remember this level, but now, giving it a couple more seconds, I actually kind of do. So, so far, I've really remembered most of the maps, which is really good to hear. God, that seems like a small map, though, right? Yo, my bad. I'm just trying to steal the treasure. And I'm very curious to see at what type of treasure. I do remember that dude's call. That arf arf. That haunted my dreams as a 10 year old. Alright, what type of uh, loot you guys got on you? I'm guessing most people will have real good things like gems and stuff, but. Okay, that's not very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and head over to the mission. Enough dilly dally, even though I can't seem to stay on top of a building for the life of me. Also, that dude has an actual cannon on him. I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get them or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Scantron tests, dude. I'm pretty sure... If you were born maybe after like 2000, 2010 maybe, you might not even know what that is. Which is hilarious because I remember when I was taking Scantron tests that, were they like, would I consider, consider them already new or old? I feel like they were like new for me almost. Like, oh, this is new technology. We got Scantron tests. No more writing paper, Scantron tests, and now that's already like ancient history, and it's only been five years, which is kind of hilarious to me. Can I smack him in the head? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Hello? Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I... But I won't chatter with the likes of you, so blessed the subject. Get out of me sight, land lover! 
Oh, the years I only spoke of the golden kindness with me partner. Cantankerous tip. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lover. Thought he's be cut for hard on my tongue, so that I assure you. I thought he said like a bad word. I was like, dude ain't playing. It's a children's game and he's out here. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. So Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. Alright, come on, Jake. You're coming with me, big guy. What? See, that's monkeys. You need to get a bigger shirt, though. Come on, Jake. What are you doing up there, bud? I'm trying to get you down here. <laughs> That's not very nice of you, Jake. You're literally an animal, dude. You what do you eat? Kibble? We eat bones? That's gotta be racist. Oh, yo, my bad. Go back down. No, go back down. I am dropping this on your head. Later. <laughs> Monkey. Alright, free eye patch. I feel like we could also just buy an eye patch off Amazon or something, but don't tell him that. Alright, on our way. Just gonna rocket boot through the map. Let's go ahead and just press this. Oop, that does not go to. Shut up. Wait. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. This is like the Contessa mission. Hello? Can, did they hear me? Pretty sure I have the silent obliterate, right? So they shouldn't. Give me your peg leg. Once. <gasps> Whoop! My bad. Do you mind just like not remembering that I was just behind you? That would be pretty lit. You would think he'd feel like his leg wobble, right? He's just like, oh, all of a sudden my leg is shaky. Thanks for your leg, homie. Which one? Oh, he's all the way up there? Bro, you can't hide from me. Also, I feel like this music is slightly inspired by the Pirates of the Caribbean. I, you can hear it. Keep it what's about you, Ned. Stay sharp. Sharp as an axe. Sharp as a thin shop. Ah! I know it. It's true. An agent of Thames come for revenge. Where are you going, dude? That's no fair. Oh, we will take at least a little shortcut over here. And just, uh, wait for him to come around. I feel like this is, like, weirdly, genuinely hard. Almost simply because I'm impatient. <laughs> Not anything else. Boink. Alright, you keep running. Keep trying to drop stuff on our head. Nope. Yo, do you have treasure? Can I pickpocket you? I feel like I want to get whatever's in his pocket. I think that might be my new goal. Get whatever's... You won't take me. Yeah, I won't. Yeah, you think you could take me? That's what she said. 
Come on. Give me what's in your pockets. Alright, let's see. Where does he go? This is where I lost him last time. Okay, okay, that's what I gotta do. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, that's where I just went a little brain dead and kind of lost them. Yo, what up? We're going right by the captain. Uh, we're just uh, playing tag. Don't worry about it. Oh, great. We isolated him. Let's beat him up and steal his stuff. Avast there. You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. I mean, it's his fault for running, bro. Still think we should have hit him in the head, but that's just me. You've got the full cantankerous Tim disguise. Head on back to Black Spot Heat and pretend to be his old partner. And remember your pirate accent this time. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, Bentley. Let's go, uh, let's go talk some trash. I swear, the trash talk of my early youth consisted of the lines that we're about to speak. <gasps> I was supposed to wear the outfit. Oops. Alright, I'm just gonna jump right in front of him. No! Okay, good. Not to be rude, but let's talk of treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon-faced toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. Alright, what do we got? You donkey-eared... Duck build cabin boy. <laughs> You're a donkey head, duck build cabin boy. That be true enough, but you're a pin headed, puss faced piece of filth. Puss headed. Are you a parrot loving, twisted anchor head? You're a parrot loving. Did he say parrot loving? Anchor head. <laughs> But me thinks you're a bleeding, clam-tongued cow pie. <laughs> bleeding? Alright, you're a stupid, toothless whale fart. That's the oh, one right there. You're a stupid, toothless whale fart. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a idiotic, cross-eyed sack of maggots. Idiotic cross... You're a uh, mumbling <laughs> crog abused bag of vomit. That's the oh, one. Really? You're a mumbling grog abusing bag of vomit. That be true enough, but you're a marooned, scurvy ridden waste of skin. Alright. You're a cricket sized seaweed slurping swabbler. You are a cricket sized seaweed slurping swabber. Ha ha! Cantankerous Tim, it must be you. Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Remé Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul, that. Uh, speak of it while drunk often. <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, uh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost me galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefouy. 
What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefouis is no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man of the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map and your death as well. If you go for the treasure ship, mate, you go alone. Missy Felt is alone behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. Very nice. All right, so we gotta go fight another pirate. You know, that dude seems like a nice guy. Kind of poopy that he robbed his dad, but. We've got a lead on Ruddy Lou Stone's treasure. It's buried somewhere on Dagger Island, a landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of these cutthroats. First, Murray and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders off any ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one can stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lafouille's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Alright. We got any money for any more moves? I'm guessing we don't, right? 600? Nah. Alright. Who we got? Um... Stu Murray, why not? I feel like his boat mission could be a lot of fun. Yeah, let's do the boat mission. Got anything good for me? Alright, I'll be taking your stuff. No! Haha, <laughs> right, right before. We're about to get blasted, though. Oops. Right, let's just uh, run away. We don't, we don't need this smoke right now, to be honest. Y'all still chasing me? You weirdos. What moves we got? Okay, R2. Boing. 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 Let's go ahead and bounce right into our mission here. Okay, Murray, I need you and Sly to blast the rudders off all the galleons in port. With their boats disabled, the pirates won't be able to chase after us when we sail for Dagger Island. What about those boats out there at anchor? They look ripe for a breaking. Don't worry about it. The pirates won't have time to row out and get the rig before we're gone. Besides, once you start shooting at those rudders, the harbor patrol is sure to show up. That sounds like a job for a man of my many destructive habits. You said it. Take out the harbor patrol, and there will be no one left to chase after us when we appropriate a pirate boat. It looks like Sly's done unlocking the jolly boat. Good luck, sailor. We're just borrowing a pirate boat. Don't worry about it. We'll give it back at some point. Okay, boys. Murray Rose and Sly Man's cannon. Hold down the R1 button to charge the shot. And shoot oh. Further. Let go when you want to fire. Okay. This is kind of cool, actually. Okay, we got to kind of be fast here. Let me turn down the volume. I'm gonna totally get hit right here. Psych. I feel like if we get up close, this is much, much easier. There we go. Yeah, I feel like this is very, very easy if you just get up super close to him. Boink. Yeah, I feel like the farther shots are actually much, much harder. Where's the last one? Let's go run a trip around this boat. Oh, what? I'm surprised this didn't fall. Come on now. There we go. That was weird. 
The harbor patrol has arrived. They look pretty well armored. Is this cannon gonna cut it? You're right, Sly. Murray needs to ram them with your jolly boat to knock off the armor. Oh, right! I'm tired of dodging <laughs> cannonballs. Time to crack some skulls. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cutscene, we're getting hit. Once Murray has knocked off the armor, you'll need to sink him with a well-placed cannonball. Run in fear, harbor patrol. All right, here we go. Coming after you. Bop. That it? Okay, so we just gotta hit them one time, just get rid of their armor real quick. There we go. Easy. Alright, where are you at? actually really fun I, I like the the boats a lot more fun to drive than the RC cars because you kind of like I don't know, see the, the controls are just extremely satisfying the team of excellence Murray and his faithful gunner sly kick butt yet again uh sorry guys I wasn't aware the harbor patrol had a cutter you're not done yet yes that thing is massive Everything has a weak point. Just look at the mast. They've been patching it up for a while now. Sly's right. That mast will fall before our combined mightitude. No matter how many cannons they bring to bear, we will bear it. Not to sound like a wimp, but I vote we dodge their cannonballs. Or we can dodge. That works too. Nah, I want to eat them. Let's go. Yeah, something about the boat. The boat driving is just... Very, very, very satisfying. What, what do I gotta hit? The support beam? Okay, gotta shoot a little higher on this one, huh? Zoink. A lot of cannonballs. Right, let's go back around again. Let's try to Kobe them all the way from over here. Kobe. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Team Excellence does it again. Nice shooting, sidekick. Hey, we would have been sunk without your rowing. When you guys are done making out, I'll see you back at the safe house. Sheesh. Come on, man. I think Bentley's getting a little jealous. He's not getting some one on one slide time, if you know what I'm saying. All right, we got one more mission with Bentley. Let's do it. Ooh, let's steal this guy's stuff. What do you got in your pocket, bud? Medium diamond, only worth 100? All right, you're going to the sea. You got anything for me? No, nothing. All right, you're getting thrown. All right, how do I get back up there is my question. Can I uh, ball form this bad boy? And just uh, bounce my way back up there? I guess that works. Right. Let's go ahead and grab our boy Bentley. What time is it? 7.52. Let me make sure nothing important texts to me. Alright, let's grab our boy Bentley. We got any new moves for him? Size destabilizer, that's definitely new. Rage bomb, I think that's new. Now, I don't really think I'm going to use any of this stuff, but... The Rage Bomb might be fun. Let's go ahead and tr just give this Rage Bomb a whirl. Let's see what it does to this guy. Oh, okay. Just basically killed him instantly, which was not what we were trying to do. Maybe we'll use it in this mission. Let's see if it'll come in handy at some point during this. Okay, Penelope. I'm in a position with your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest. Anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, Bentley. Let's light this candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for Sly? It's just not fair. What was that? I didn't read you. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that we've got fair winds for liftoff. Let's do it. 
The little homie's gonna turn into an insult. Oh no! Not Bentley. It's facts. No, we haven't downloaded yet. Ah, the pieces are still intact. The disk is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. But it's broken, and I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tries to take it after a malfunction. The disk will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! What if we could read the disk's contents before touching it? Right! I could use my RC card and go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as the disk and should be able to download its contents. That's it! Use the card to recover all of the data and then we'll know where to strike inside the soul field. Okie dokie. Here we go. Yeah, I feel a little homey though. Um nice driving, Oh okay. I'm registering a partial download from that portion of the disc. Okay, so we just run into them, we don't download it, we don't stick like a USB stick or anything in there. Yeah, I feel like um Bentley needs to get some like gnarly like prosthetic legs. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. Took me a little while to find find it but Ooh. I'm Bentley and this is Jackass no dude I'm trash bop bop here we go alright you know it oh another jump oh that was close. So there's that one. Okay, I need to get this one first. And I think I do one last absolutely gnarly jump over to the other side. Bro, shut up. Alright, here we go. Yeet. No, stop, stop. There we go. Pick it in style. Does it? We should have all of the spectrometer data. Hold on, hold on. I got it. There's a massive chest near the top east facing windows. Let's go. Also, Bentley needs to like do something about his eyebrows because them boys look like pieces of cheese. Just putting it out there, Bentley. Of course, she likes Sly. You have cheese eyebrows. Dude, what in the world is going on back there? This little fleet guy is really on it. He must have seen the disc and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before. They can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just a field man. Just a field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well, yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes and jump on flagpoles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Sly can't rewire a satellite or write ASCII code. Sly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Oh, oh sorry about that standing comment. Give me a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. Dude, I still can't tell whether I should like Penelope or not. She kind of annoys me. Dude, one moment she's like belittling our boy Bentley. And the next moment she's like, well, you're really smart. She's got a real way of making backhanded compliments. Don't make my boy Bentley feel bad. He's an absolute gem and a treasure. No, nobody deserves Bentley. Look at him. Tell me one other dude that can jump on boxes with his wheelchair. 
If anything, this is more impressive than Sly. Sly is working legs. He's doing what Sly is doing without legs. The door here is locked, but you should be able to bomb the support to that upper walkway. Oh. Do I gotta destroy this one here? Alright, well that took way too long to figure out. And now I've got absolutely no health, but we could probably try and extract some health from someone, right? What is a health extractor? Let's give this a whirl. Let's see if we can maybe utilize that to actually get some of our health back here. Shh, that must be Lafui. Let's get up to where no one will spot us. Agree. Boing. I'll tell you something, by thunder. That disc in the sky was just the beginning. But sir, it is gone. Them bridges is up, and all's as clear as morning. Sure, sir. Sure. Every man's entitled to their opinion. But I don't want to hear no more of them. Second mate Jones. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to captain of the guards. Th th thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's the storm blowing in. I'll be just inside torturing the prisoners. Call out if you need help. No, sir. I mean, I, I, sir. Jake is nervous. We can't get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. What type of swashbuckling we talking here, huh? Now, question. Can I throw health extractor right there? Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but uh, that works too. Give me a little health. I was hoping for a little bit of health packets. Well, I guess in the meanwhile, we just keep bombing them here. No swashbuckling. We're, we're stealth bombing. I think it's more fun. There we go. Can we now? Let's use the health extractor now. Oh, yeah. Will that give me some health? Hey, oh. Give me your life, too. Not Skr too shabby, Bentley. Not bad at all. Yeah, look at my helmet. I'm balling like that. Looks like a standard double button latch system. On three, in pirate. One, two... Three. Arg. This must be it. I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my spanner set, this would be a cinch. Really? Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. You leaving the girl by herself? Really, Bentley? That's not very, uh, manly of you. Great! But I think I've already got it. This is it! The Dagger Island treasure map. Ah! My eyes! I can't see some kind of blinding dust. <laughs> Oops. Bro, she got flash banged. Whoa! I'm okay, but I think I fell down near the front door. I can't get back to the safe house with the bridge is still raised. I'll save you. I'll, I'll think of something perfect. I'm sure she won't mind if I take the turret off her car. Hurry, Bentley. I'm getting kind of scared here. Hang tight. I've got a new and improved grapple cam on the way. The stock is really nasty. I can't see a thing. Bro, pick her up with your wheelchair, dude. Swoop her up. Give her a ride. Come on, Bentley. You're not romantic in the slightest. Show her around town with your wheelchair. All right, where are you at, Penelope? Don't worry, Penelope. The pulley's holding up the bridges were too tough to take out with my sleep dart. 
parts. So I upgraded my grapple cam with one of your RC turrets. I heard the bridge is full. That's so sick. I'm not sure I can make it back to the safe house blind if I miss. I'll make a bird call through the grapple cam speaker. The guards won't pick anything of it, and you'll be able to follow the sound back to the safe house. Oh, wee wee. Okay, dude. Wee wee. Really? The guards are really not supposed to know it's not a real bird. Although this is probably the coolest thing we've done so far. We actually put a gun on a... Dude, that's so sick. You coming? Again. Bentley should just swoop her up on, a, on his little... Uh, on his little tricycle there, but... um. Oh, nope, 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 nope. You back up. Nope, nope, you, you back up. Oh, is that... Oh, I can't pick up that money, no, dude. You still chilling? Alright. Okay, now the real question is, she can't jump while she's blind, right? Okay. So I guess we'll have to take her up the long way, right? Come in. And she didn't get hit by a single thing. She's still behind me? Or did I just lose her? Don't tell me I just lost her, dude. Really? Oh, my bad, Penelope. I was just trying to get that thing out of your way. Whoops. There we go. has no permanent effects let me apply some ointment to your eyes baby girl let me let me take care of you all right we're gonna end that episode off there and continue a slide next time thanks for watching guys